Hi, so I thought I'd do something a wee bit different as it's been highly requested of how I achieve my big bounty blow dry at home. Um, it's really simple and yeah, just watch to see how I do it. So first of all, I'm just going to brush through my hair to make sure I don't have any knots in that. Then I'm going to take the VO5 heat protecting spray and just put that through my hair and make sure I don't have any damage and then brush that back through. Now just taking my two index fingers and run that along the top of my ear to separate um, into sections, just get the bottom of my hair and then clip the remaining hair up. Um, so today I'm going to be using the GHG Sock Out On. It's literally so classic, I love it. Um, I got it at Christmas and ever since I've literally been obsessed. But anyway, so I'm going to take it down to the bottom and then just bring it back up to my scalp and then I don't really have like a set time that I hold it for I just do it until like I think it's done and then once I think that's enough I'll bring it down and then like cup it into my hands as as you can see and then I'll just like bring it back up to my scalp and pin it in uh, just like a wee pin curl and then that'll hold the natural shape of the curl make it last longer and um, yeah, it just lets it like cool in its natural shape and I literally took so long to put this one clip in because I didn't have a mirror in front of me, so a class. And then I'm um, also just doing it like away from my face. Literally, my, my, I don't know why, my hair is like all different lengths right now. So it takes forever, but yeah, just kind of doing that. So I'm just doing this section now. I just wanted to show you like how I do it as I go up the head. Doesn't really change really, but just in case you had any questions. And then as you go through the hair, you literally do get so fast at it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really take long. So just going against the hair again, just brush it and then go back up. And that literally see what I'm doing. It does kind of. If you have like all different lengths of hair, it kind of just works like that. So I thought I'd just show you how I do my fringe because it's a wee bit different and I do get quite a lot of questions on that as well. So you're just going to brush it away and separate it away from like the rest of your hair. And then you're going to grab the tongue. I could not remember what way to put it and then you just bring it down to the bottom and wrap it up and don't hold for long you only need a little bit of heat so then bring that down and then I'm so unprepared and couldn't find my roller so you just put that in and I guess I'm brushing it through because I could not get it the way I wanted but yeah so you're just gonna wrap it round that's good right? Eh? Bring wrap it on and then just put a pin in So and then done the rest of the top of my head off camera and here's me just doing seconds. So that's it and then once you've done all of them put hairspray in. So I just keep these in for I don't know half an hour or more, it doesn't really matter a few hours. I just done my makeup and then um, that was me just taking them out after. But there's nothing really to take them that I just thought I'd show you um, in case like you thought I was doing a certain way. So now I've just taken them all out, I'm just going to brush them through and get them into like the, the shape that I want them in. Some of them didn't really work out that I wasn't really happy with, but oh well. Um, yeah, you just kind of brush them out and then 
and wrap them back into the shape you want. So yeah, you just can take the bun out for the roller and then just brush it through and style it really the way you want. Um, you can put some hairspray back into it, like I am. And then that's about it. There's nothing really else to it. That's really just how I do it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'm obviously nowhere near like hairdresser standard or anything, but this is just how I do it. So hopefully you've enjoyed and thank you so much for watching again.